Hi friends, today I'll guide you on using the Blender add-on Easy Jiggle, a fantastic tool for creating natural jiggle effects like shaking, bouncing, or wobbling on objects or characters. This add-on can be applied in many scenarios, from humans and animals to inanimate objects, making your animations more lifelike and dynamic. First, I'll show you an animation without the jiggle effect applied. As you can see, the chest muscles of the model don't move realistically during motion. Physical rules like gravity and inertia aren't in play, making it look stiff and unnatural. Next, I'll install the Easy Jiggle add-on. It's very simple. Go to the Edit menu, select Preferences, then switch to the Add-ons tab. Click the small arrow next to it and choose Install from Disk. Then, select the zip file for the add-on and install it. After installation, you'll see the add-on appear in the sidebar of the viewport, ready to use. Using the add-on is straightforward. Just select the model you want to apply the jiggle effect to, then click the Select Region button to choose the area on the model where you want the effect. You can select a closed edge loop to define the region or pick a group of vertices or faces. After that, click Create Jiggle Region. The add-on will then create a vertex group with the jiggle effect applied. You can adjust the parameters for the effect based on your needs and goals. Here, I'll try setting the strength to 1. Now let's watch the animation. See that? The right chest of the model now has a realistic physics effect, jiggling naturally with the movement. Switch over to Weight Paint View to check it out. You can also click the Adjust Weight Paint button to tweak the weight paint for the region you've created, refining the area of influence for the effect. You can rename the created vertex group for easier management. And remember, every time you change parameters or the name, a name of the vertex group, you need to click Update to save the changes. Now I'll proceed to create the effect for the left chest. I'll select the region by picking Faces, then repeat the process as mentioned above. Pretty simple, right? If you no longer want the effect, you can click Reset to remove it. Good luck!